Spiky, I just baked a cake. It's delicious. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. Nothing smells or tastes good anymore. I don't understand why. That's because you have a cold. Your nose is blocked, so you can't smell your food properly. Did you know that smell is one of the five senses? What are the other four? And what are senses? Our senses make us aware of changes in our surroundings and in our body. Anything that causes activity or change in an organism is called a stimulus. For example, temperature, pressure, light, or sound. We have structures and organs in our body that detect and respond to the changes in our body and in our surroundings. Structures which detect these stimuli are called receptors. These receptors are present in our sense organs. We are able to see using our eyes, hear through our ears, touch with our skin, taste with our tongue, and we smell using our nose. Correct! Since you're having trouble with your nose today, let's take a closer look at the structure of the nose and explore how it detects smell. The nose is a hollow air passage. It consists of two nasal chambers which open through two holes called the nostrils. Let's have a look at the internal structure of the nose. The roof of the nose is lined with nerve cells that are responsible for detecting different smells. These cells are connected to the olfactory bulb, which is connected to the olfactory center in our brain. Olfactory means related to the sense of smell. But how does the smell reach the nose? And how do we recognize it? Well, when we say that substances give off smell, we mean that the smell is in the air. This means that when you smell rotten eggs, the rotten eggs are giving off some substances that have traveled from the egg through the air and into your nose. The cake you smelt gave off chemicals in the form of vapors. When you breathe in, these vapors travel into your nostrils. Most of these vapors are filtered out on the way up to your nasal cavity as they get caught by your protective nose hairs. However, a few of them make it all the way to the nasal chambers. As they enter the nasal chambers, these vapors dissolve in the moisture on the surface of the nerve cells. These nerve cells have small hair, or cilia. When the vapors come in contact with the cilia, the smell receptors are stimulated and generate signals that travel up the olfactory bulb. Once the olfactory bulb picks up the smell signals, it transmits these signals to the olfactory cortex of the brain. The olfactory cortex is the part of the brain that receives signals from odor receptors. Here, your brain identifies these signals as different smells. This is how your brain knows it's a cake. Here's a fun fact. Scientists estimate that we have 40 million different olfactory receptor cells in our nose, which help us identify about 10,000 different smells, maybe even more. That may sound like a lot, but dogs have even more olfactory sensors than humans. Therefore, they can use their noses to identify thieves, detect drugs, and locate missing people. Now, Spiky, your cold is giving you a blocked nose, which affects your ability to detect smells. This is why you couldn't smell my delicious cake. Here, have some hot soup. It will clear your nose and throat, and then you can smell better. Yay! Thank you! Let's summarize. The nose is the sense organ for smell. Some substances give off a smell which we detect by inhaling vapors. These vapors enter the nose and dissolve in the moisture that lines the nerve cells. This stimulates the nerve cells and sends signals to the olfactory bulb. The olfactory bulb is connected to the olfactory cortex in the brain, which identifies the signals as different smells.